These are the lines of cars and people in some parts of the U.S. waiting for a coronavirus vaccine. In some states, however, vaccine appointments have been canceled due to an overall vaccine hesitancy. Despite a rocky start, on April 21, President Biden called the nation's vaccine rollout an American achievement. We will, by my 100th day in office, have administered 200 million shots in people's arms. But in this massive effort, children and teenagers have largely been kept out mainly because COVID-19 is often more severe in people 60 years and older and those with health conditions. But that could soon change. We project that high school students will very likely be able to be vaccinated by the fall term. Maybe not the very first day, but certainly in the early part of the fall for that fall educational term. Elementary school kids were doing this what's called age de-escalation studies mm -hmm. to make sure it's safe and immunogenic in them. They likely will be able to get vaccinated by the very first quarter of 2022. So far, children have mostly been spared from the worst ravages of the pandemic. Most who've contracted COVID-19 have had milder symptoms than adults, and some did not have any signs of being sick at all. Still, scientists say a wide-scale vaccination of all the nation's children could help achieve herd immunity, the point at which enough people are immune to the coronavirus that it cannot easily spread from person to person. Vaccine makers are trying to speed that effort. Pfizer BioNTech, for example, plans to establish a safe dosage and test their vaccines in children ages 5 to 11, then 2 to 5, and finally ages 6 months to 2 years old. Moderna recently launched a trial that would gradually decrease in age, from 11 years old down to infants. As for the vaccines developed by AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson, which both have been linked to a number of rare blood clots, trials are underway for children as young as 6 years old and infants. But for now, experts predict that children and teenagers will start rolling up their sleeves for coronavirus vaccines around the start of the school year in the fall, and younger children in early 2022.